my god. <laughs> There's no way. There's three babies in this room. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. So we need to talk real quick because last episode ended with my game completely breaking. Everything was fine up until the last like two minutes when I started having a save error. I've had this happen to me before and I fixed it before by just saving as and hoping for the best. And I'll be completely honest, I didn't actually do anything to fix it since last week. I don't really know how to fix it. Like I don't know what to do aside from just closing your game and reopening it and hoping for the best but it seems like it's not happening right now, so maybe we're okay. So huge thanks to The Sims 4 for the absolute crisis that it sent us into last episode. But I think that we might be okay for now. Honestly, like what is happening? <laughs> There's a raccoon right here. My Sims in a swimsuit and an umbrella. Okay, well, there are a couple of other things that we probably should discuss because a lot happened last time. We adopted a dog. This is our new creature named Ducky. We managed to bring our ghost child Warren back Back to life so he's human again and then we also gave birth to Elijah our little accident baby which sounds bad because he was wanted I just didn't really want him then. Does that make sense? Let's just say we got really lucky that my sim got pregnant by accident with 1% risky woohoo. So that's kind of the rundown of the sims in our household right now. And the bad news for me is that nobody in the comments liked my theory about Elijah maybe being the heir. So I had thrown out some ideas about maybe Elijah playing through the love struck pack when he grows up. Elijah Bell was kind of meant to be a play on eligible. He could be in the matchmaker career. Maybe he dates around. That was just the thought that I had, but nobody liked that. <laughs> Everybody was like, no, we would rather Warren be the heir. <laughs> Which honestly, I hadn't really considered because in my mind, I didn't name Warren with a goofy name. So I was like, he's out. He can't be the heir because his name's normal. But that's not a reason to count somebody out. <laughs> You can't just not pick an heir because their name is normal, Kayla. But the bigger problem with that was that a lot of people wanted Warren to be a ghost hunter using the paranormal stuff pack. And I like the idea in theory. Obviously he was a ghost, so it kind of makes sense that he might be involved with the paranormal. But also I don't think that he would hunt ghosts. I think as a former ghost himself, ghost hunter doesn't really feel right. Like that actually feels kind of messed up to me to make him go and hunt his former friends. But the thing is, since I posted that video, there's been an announcement for a new expansion pack. And this is like a perfect happy accident because the expansion pack is called Life and Death. And there's a lot of theories about a Grim Reaper career, but it comes out in like two months at the end of October and Warren might already be grown up by then. So we'll just have to see how things work out, but if possible, that might be a really fun thing for him to do and maybe he could be the heir. But we also don't have to decide that right now. Like there's no reason to be worrying about that today. The kids aren't even all born yet. They're still all really young. It's just kind of fun to discuss potential plans for the future. And the other thing is that people were kind of upset that I had changed Elijah's hair from blonde to black. And I don't remember doing that, but I watched the video back and I did. So I'll fix it now. Hello, eyebrows. It's cute this way. He's like a real mix of his parents. He's got Kay's eyes and Eugene's hair. I think I kind of forgot that Eugene was blonde when I did that because I'm so used to in my Not So Berry Challenge having to change the baby's hair to match their parents. So for example, the parents might have like blue hair and black hair, but the baby gets born with red hair. And so I usually just change it to match their parents. And I think I just forgot that Eugene exists. So <laughs> it's better this way. And I think that kind of catches us back up to speed about everything going on in the household. I did fail to have Kay finish his work from home day today. He was supposed to crash an engineering course, which I did not do. Nina is at risk of losing her single and loving it lifestyle. You know what? I think that's maybe okay. Now that she's got a, a robot girlfriend, maybe it's fine if she loses that lifestyle. Are you going to feed the kid or not? Oh, here we go. Finally. The fact that he's still in his pool floating trying to do this is so funny to me. Okay, put Elijah to sleep. You can do it. Maybe play lullaby too. Put the kid back down. What are you doing? Oh my God. Literally why? Why? I don't understand why infants are like this in The Sims 4. Put Elijah to bed. They do that all the time, like the picking up and then putting back down on the babies. He would have been in bed at a reasonable time and now it's 2 a.m. Oh my god, we are not off to a good start. What are you doing, Nina? It's almost Elijah's birthday as well. Short lifespan is so scary. All right, well, everybody's asleep. I'm evolving some plants. Oh my god, <laughs> I forgot that we were pregnant. Why did I think in my mind that this was the accident? Oh, I'm gonna start crying. There's another one. So much happened last episode that even I forgot what was going on. <laughs> when I turned that camera and I saw he had a baby bump, I feel like I almost died. Oh my God. All right, you know what? Maybe take back everything I said. 
it. I'm actually embarrassed that I forgot that my sim was pregnant. In my defense, I've had a really rough week. I've been extremely sick all weekend. My mind has just turned into goo. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, we're, we're pregnant. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna survive this? What if we give birth and then we have the science baby right away and we just pretend that they're twins? <laughs> Should we do that? Should I just commit? I said I would, so maybe I should. I, I think maybe I should do it. Okay, I think in the meantime, before we give birth, we're gonna be in our third trimester like any second. So maybe I'll go out and I'll work on that engineering course thing I'm supposed to do. We're meant to go to Brightchester for this and literally crash a class. <laughs> oh my God. Every time I play this save, I feel like I just am about to lose it. <laughs> it's just always something happening. Crash an engineering course. And maybe afterward, do you wanna sit in on a skill class? Maybe Maybe you could sit in on a robotics class afterward. Oh, you want me to be a regional manager? No. They can now take family leave. A couple minutes ago, it was like, you're expected for work at your next shift. And now, oh, we got family leave again. Oh, the festival of youth has started. Oh my gosh, we should go to that. Well, it worked. <laughs> the skill class was effective. Oh, I don't like your, your eyeliner. I don't like it. Okay, we officially sat in on our engineering course. I think maybe now I will go to that festival of youth. Can you not bring the kids? <laughs> okay, we don't need to bring the baby. All right, we can just bring Warren for now. But it might be cute. He could like try and collect some things. He's having a rough day because his tooth hurts. So <laughs> this is a good thing. Look, take a selfie, take a selfie. I love this guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, we're wearing a little green onesie. That's our pajamas. We can pretend that it's meant to be a costume. He deserves to get to do some fun kid things. I mean, given the fact that he was literally a ghost, he should get to do some cool stuff as a human. <laughs> okay, so there's a void critter hunt. There's a virtual void void critters hidden around the festival. So you can click on spots to check for them. And then if we collect all 10, we can get a prize. There's also some other kids. Like this is Charlotte, that's our cousin. You should hang out with her. The problem with the void critter hunt is you literally just click around the floor. It's kind of like Pokemon Go. So if we want to find 10, I don't know if we'll be able to finish it because I didn't come here before the festival started. Maybe if I had shown up before it started, we would have had more time. Oh, I got one. Cool. I got another one. Oh, that's three. Actually, maybe we will be able to do it. Oh, the festival festival ends in one hour, Never mind. We did get four. I mean, at least he's happy about it. <laughs> Warren is thrilled. Oh, the festival is ending. Everything is slowly despawning. <laughs> okay, well, it didn't really work how I wanted it to, but that's fine. Maybe you can buy a simi capsule to make it up to you. He's getting along pretty well with cousin Charlotte, at least, so that's good. Oh, he got buddy simi. That's cute. We could probably get some food while we're here as well. I don't know where your parents are. Oh, they're flirting, and we're still in a swimsuit. They both have a flirt flamingo thing going on with the flamingo pants and the flamingo shirt. Oh my god. Those things are from different packs even, believe it or not. Okay, we should probably go back home now. That was kind of a flop at the Festival of Youth, but hey, you know what? It was good that he got to come hang out and play. And I usually tend to skip that one, so it was good for me to go to it. How's the baby? Oh wow, that's kind of gross. <laughs> All right, the adults here are both kind of miserable. That's pretty bad because I was gonna have them take care of the baby, but maybe it's fine. He just got the toe and mouth milestone, I believe. So good for you, kid. Oh no, sorry, he got the laugh milestone. That's my bad. You can go to sleep. I'll make Nina take care of him when she gets home. I think he'll be fine on the floor. <laughs> oh no, the dog is just sitting in our room. I feel like Ducky was waiting for us. That's actually really cute. <laughs> Here, I'll have them play together real quick. Maybe we could try and potty train the dog a little bit too. It can just go outside like onto the porch, right? To pee? I hope so. Yeah, it's fine. It's peeing right there on the stairs. <laughs> Great. In the meantime, you should probably go to sleep because you're gonna have your first day of human school. You've been to school as a ghost, but you're alive now. Entering a phase. You're going through a mean streak? Oh my God, any glitch downstairs. I mean, if we end up becoming the Grim Reaper, <laughs> an adult. I'm talking about this as if it's true. I don't even know if it's a real thing that you can do. But if we do end up becoming a Grim Reaper as an adult, I mean, maybe it's fun that we were mean as a child. <laughs> it might be fitting. We shouldn't get our hopes up too high about that yet though, because we're just going purely off of guesses. No one knows what the pack's actually gonna come with. We might be sounding like fools. If people watch this back next year after the pack comes out and they're like, they thought there was gonna be a Grim Reaper career. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
labor and I didn't notice. I was talking about Sims theories. Okay, let's go have a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> Nobody was even really commenting that many name suggestions. Everybody was just complaining about Elijah. So I don't have a lot of ideas. I almost think that we should save, oh, Logan. I was gonna say we should maybe save some of our chaotic names for a future gen if we are really feeling excited about Warren. Elijah, <laughs> we already named a kid that. Wait, it just randomized Ted. Why do I kind of like Ted? The idea of a little tiny baby named Ted is like so cute to me. Hello, Ted. Oh, the dog is sleeping in here with Elijah. That's so cute. And it's Elijah's birthday today. Oh God. I'm sorry if you hate the name Ted. I didn't even consult anybody. I just went for it with that one, but I kind of like it. I feel like that's actually really cute. Okay, the baby is mostly fed. What are you doing tummy time for right now? In the middle of the night? Are you serious? Is that like entirely necessary? Nina, can you maybe put Elijah in the crib? Okay, most of us are asleep now. So that's a relief. There's a random person in my house. <laughs> This is Oliver, apparently. You just walked in, gonna pet the dog, I guess. Okay. Nina, do you wanna come feed this baby? Okay, I think I might regret this like really bad. <laughs> But what if we had a science baby right now? What if we just went for it and we just did it? I said I wanted to do it. I stand by that. I still want to have a science baby. I think I'm going to regret this because I'm basically intentionally giving myself twins because I already have an infant. It's a boy. Oh my gosh. We got to think of a name that goes well with Ted. Marvin. Wait, 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 wait. That one just randomized Marvin. Can I do Ted and Marvin? Warren, Elijah, Ted, and Marvin. Is that good? Do they sound good together? I kind of... <laughs> No, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying. There's literally no way. <laughs> you can't even cheat that. You can't cheat having science baby twins. It just happens to you. And I literally joked, watch it'll happen to us. I even said it'll be like we're having twins. When I said that, I meant because I already had a baby. I did not mean because I wanted the game to give me twins. What am I supposed to do about this? How am I gonna survive this? Oh my God. Kay just gave birth to a baby boy. Four boys in this generation we've had. Philip, Ted, Marvin, and Philip. Warren, Elijah, Ted, Marvin, Philip. Wait, five kids? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I might be the dumbest person alive. <laughs> Remember when I said, watch, we might end up with twins. When I said that, I honestly, I honestly didn't think that would actually happen to me. I'm serious. I never, I <laughs> did not think that I would actually end up with all these babies. Our, I don't even think our house is big enough. We also have nine Sims in the household now. Speechless. I'm speechless. I feel so dumb. Well, somebody's gotta come take care of them. So <laughs> you might wanna come get them all dressed. I'm gonna change them all into different onesies because it'll make it easier for me to tell the difference between them. I actually feel a bit sick. <laughs> How am I gonna survive? Oh my God. Warren, when you get home from school, you are in for a real treat. Imagine you go to bed one night, you have one brother. You wake up, you have four brothers. <laughs> this is unbelievable. The fact that everybody is a boy as well. All right, somebody's gotta come take care of this one real quick. <laughs> Honestly, I think I might age him up. Oh, Eugene, you may wanna take some PTO today. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you may wanna stick around today. Well, happy birthday to little Elijah. You now have a million siblings. Fussy? No, I always randomize their traits, but can I randomize it again? Inquisitive, first try. <laughs> oh, look at I actually love his hair and I don't even change it. I also might wait to redo his outfit because we're gonna have to be in cast soon for the rest of these three. <laughs> he needs fed if you wanna bring him some cake. This one is screaming. Can someone else let the dog out? The dog has to go potty too. Suddenly I'm playing the 100 baby challenge. <laughs> Things have changed in this household. Remember a couple days ago when I was like, wow, it's so weird. The house is so empty. Shut up, little Simsy. <laughs> you take that back right now. Okay, I had Nina adopt the babies, so she's a caregiver of them as well. Messy eater. Oh my God, Elijah, we can't deal with this. There are four small children in this room right now. Thank God we have Nina. If we did not have this robot, I think I might die. <laughs> I think the kids might get taken away without Nina. She's carrying this right now. Oh, you're pregnant. Oh my gosh. 
So this is this is Kay's sister. So there's gonna be even more people in the family. Oh, that makes me really happy. She's gonna have a little bit of an easier time than me. <laughs> Do you need a, a bottle still? Come bottle feed this one. Is everybody okay otherwise? How is Nina only level seven of the parenting skill? She's been literally carrying this entire time. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna do a whole video making a baby room for these three. I think that might be kind of fun for us to like dedicate some effort into making a triplet room. But I will go through and give Elijah his own room because we need to update it to have toddler stuff. What do we think about this bed? I wasn't so sure about that one personally. I feel like the bright orange is kind of a lot, but maybe we could try to mix in some orange. We even have this orange plushie, so that might work out. Does this come in orange? Oh, I didn't like it. I like the space thing. Hello. We have a guest. <laughs> Snap has come to help out. I think she heard that we had triplets by accident and she was like, okay, I'll come help you take care of them. I'll get some little toys. We can have this thing too. That's not so bad. There's plenty of room for him to play and he's got all kinds of stuff that he can skill build with. I'm actually kind of intrigued about maybe getting the toddler tent as well. Part of me is sort of feeling like if we're gonna have this many kids, we may as well turn like half the house into a playroom or something. Um, Maybe that's what the old horse room could become. It'd have to be accessible from the outside, which is not ideal. And we don't really have enough money yet, so we might want to hold off. But that could be kind of fun. We could swap it and put a bunch of toys in there. Okay, that's an idea. We might save our money and do it after we do the kids' bedroom renovations, but that might be a nice solid future plan. All right, little Elijah, lucky for you, you get to come start playing, okay? What was that? <gasps> Hundred have been paid. Oh dear. Okay, we have 690 simoleons left. We might want to try and do some saving up here. <laughs> Nina, do you have work today? You do. And Alaya Cruz is in the way of our promotion. We're gonna have to handle that. I know I said I didn't want to kill that sim. I have to kill that sim. I'm gonna have to get rid of you. I'm real sorry about this. Some stuff's gonna have to be done. I might have to sell some things too. <laughs> oh, at least it's rebate day. Anything in here sellable? Here, donut drops. There we go. Sell those. If the mail was delivered, did we get any presents for the kids? No? Oh. <laughs> Really? Are you sure? Okay, forgive me. I am gonna have 10 sims in my household just for a sec. I'm gonna- <gasps> What was that? I think I just cheated money by stealing this sim. No, surely not. You don't get money by adding sims to your household, do you? Hmm, what have I done? Okay, well that's fine. I don't really care. I'm gonna come feed the sharks and then jump in. What's up with you? Festering bitterness? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're bitter about Nina. Well, you won't have to feel bitter about Nina for very long. I will be feeding you to the sharks. My dear Nina needs to get promoted today. It's urgent, so we can't be having you do this to us. Hey, Dan, you wanna come here real quick? Dan, I have a surprise. Do you wanna come see? Ready? Are you ready? Oh, I just saw. Oh. <laughs> Triplets. No, it's worse. I had, I gave birth and then I decided to have a science baby. Oh, and those were and twins. And the science baby gave me twins. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm really not having a good time. Oh, no. Dan, I have 10 sims in my household. 10? You can't even go and create a sim. Yeah. I'm taking care of one of them, though. Who's dying? <laughs> Who? Nina's work rival. Who are you gonna kill next? No one. Dan says, who are you gonna kill next? As if I can get rid of one of these adults. <laughs> we need all the help that we can get. I should have had Aliyah help with the baby first, to be honest, before I killed them. They still haven't died. There is a little bit of luck involved with this. They usually die more if they're in a bad mood. Oh, Nina, you should go to work. Oh, but Warren, look, look at you, buddy. You got your grades up and everything. And you have a school project. Okay. We actually have a lot of space in the house. It's kind of open. So if you want to come work on it back here, you can. Who's crying now? This one? Come here. Oh, look at all the diapers that we have. <laughs> That's fine. I get a hundred simoleons per diaper, so I'll stick to that. Okay, at least one of them's getting to take a bath. So that's helpful. Laya here still has not died. Oh, never mind. <laughs> False alarm. You know what? I gotta stop talking. The number of times that I have accidentally spoken something into existence in the past couple of episodes, I'm like, oh, I hope we don't have twins. We have twins. Oh, I hope we don't have an accident, baby. We have an accident, baby. Oh, I hope Aliyah doesn't die. Aliyah dies. I mean, I did want them to die, but I summoned that. Warren's in range to earn the responsible trait. See, this one might actually turn out all right. <laughs> he maxed the mental skill. Oh, that's right, because he was doing all the fishing to bring himself back to life. A work rivalry ends. To the relief of their coworkers, the rivalry between Nina and 
the Laya is no more, and the path to promotion is clear. Great news, because after all that, Nina surely deserves a raise. Saying to the relief of their co-workers about a sim dying is wild. You can't say that, like, that's not normal. Oh, there's a pile of diapers. Oh, okay. Looks like this one needs some help if you want to come talk to it. Why are you talking to my kid? What, is it because you two are friends? Are you friends with my ghost son? <laughs> Probably. Grim's like, oh, it's great to see you again, Warren. It's been so long. <laughs> Wait, do you want to talk to him? Watch Diamonds Are For Sims with Grim Reaper. Are you watching a movie at my house, Grim? He's, he's basically a family friend. I mean, the Grim Reaper's here all the time. I did a funny introduction. <laughs> huh? Hello, darkness, my old chum. Have a <laughs> Oh my god. Well, maybe this is our calling. Maybe Warren does play with the new life and death pack and he becomes the heir. We'll have to play slow so that he doesn't age up too fast before the pack comes out. Are you going now, Graham? Okay, bye bye Oh, my TV broke. Should I replace it instead of repairing it so I feel less bad about stealing money from Alaya? That means I stole less money, you know? I don't really feel bad about taking Alaya's money, though. I mean, they were blocking my path to promotion. Kirk wants to come over? Yeah, if you want to help with the babies, that's fine. You can come over anytime, buddy. Oh, why are you just napping? No, 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 go to sleep. Com Actually, did you not eat the- Oh, it's spoiled. Oh, let me feed this one. I have some waffles for you. Who are you, Talia? I'm pretty sure I didn't invite you into my house, but if you want to help with the babies, that's fine too. I was complaining about the messy eater thing before, but actually it's not that bad because the kid keeps throwing their food, which then means that I can sell it <laughs> in the money trash can. Oh, the dog needs a bath. Okay, can you do that? Give Ducky a bath, please. Elijah's gonna need a bath in the morning, but I'm not gonna worry about that yet. What do you think you're doing? Just hanging out by the pool? You got kids to take care of. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it with the screaming. <laughs> oh my god. All right, Warren's actually doing really well. He took care of- What is that? Where? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? It, it, literally everything always is bad. All the time. Every time we play The Sims 4 in this household, Everything is always bad. I'll replace everything. I'm trying to spend money on my children. Like, don't put the kid down. Put the kid down. Stop, 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 stop. Just let him sleep. Just let him sleep. My sim passed out. I can't even fix the baby. Oh my God. I actually can't believe that happened to me. Nina, you will never believe what happened while you were gone today. Celebrate Kay's birthday. <gasps> <laughs> okay, it's Kay's birthday and all three babies' birthday today, apparently. Maybe we could have a party. Maybe I'll save that for next episode and we'll have like a big joint birthday party for them. Because I don't know if I can handle that right now. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I actually think that the newborns are easier than infants because the newborns are at least stuck in the bassinet and they're less glitchy than the infants are. The infants are really buggy and your sim keeps like picking them up and putting them down and picking them up and putting them down. At least the, the newborns just stay in the box. Words I never thought I would say. For years, they were like, please free the baby, free the baby. And now I'm like, actually, put the baby back in the bassinet. Okay, we had a successful rebate day. We've given birth to a great deal of children. I'm gonna look at the family tree real quick just to see it. Oh my god. Oh, Faye gave birth to her baby Addison. That's so cute. I like that she has all daughters and we have all sons. It's rare that that happens to me where I have like five boys in one household. I mean, it's rare that I have five kids for a reason, but we only had two last generation, so maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. Don't mind me. I'm just slowly saving up all these bottles to sell. <laughs> we gotta pay for a new nursery reno somehow. I feel like I should have bought them a better bed. This is the thing. I love this bed. I love the new bed, but it sucks. It's only energy four. Maybe we could do this one. That's only energy six? Ah, never mind. Oh, whatever. Just put it. At least it's an improvement. Well, happy birthday, Kay. <laughs> I'm really sorry about, you know, the situation at hand. This is gonna be a rough year for you. And I think maybe on that note, this is a good stopping point for the episode. I genuinely cannot believe that this is what has gone on. I, I never, never would have seen that coming. And anybody who warned me in the comments last week, I'm sorry that I've done this because you tried to tell me and I did it anyway. And look what happened. <laughs> got nine sims. Okay, so next episode, I think we'll have a big birthday party. We'll age everybody up. We'll hopefully be able to do some skill building with Elijah. He's a top-notch infant, by the way, so that's really helpful. He's got a nice bonus trait. Warren's doing well, too. He's just kind of in a mean streak, but look at this. He's got really high manners and high responsibility, so he'll hopefully get some bonus traits when he grows up, too, but we've got a lot of time to worry about that. He's a little bit more self-sufficient than the babies are right now, and I think I might make a video where I try to decorate the nursery for triplets 
palettes. So I'll probably post that at some point this week if you're curious to see it. I don't always make like full dedicated videos for room renovations, but I do think that with triplets, it's probably a fun thing to try because I haven't tried to fit in three cribs in a room before. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for what I've done and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> bye everybody. Also, I'm really sorry I didn't post this video yesterday. I was extremely, extremely sick from my period yesterday, like to the point where I literally could not move. So <laughs> I'm feeling a bit better today, but forgive me for not uploading.